Hello everyone, welcome to Dimension Quest. After setting up my new workstation, I realized that I was missing a helpful tool that I need on occasion, OVF tool. This command line tool lets you import and export virtual machines to and from OVA OVF files, allowing for the portability and conversion between hypervisors. In my particular use case, I occasionally have difficulty using the GUI to import and export large V apps from VMware's vCloud director to move them from one environment to another or to simply back them up. I found that using OVF tool has been more reliable. So let's get it installed. All right, if you have watched my previous video, you'll know that I'm currently running Fedora Workstation 37 on a custom built AMD based system. So I need to go ahead and get OVF tool for Linux. So we need to head over to developer.vmware.com slash web slash tool slash 4.5.0 slash OVF dash tool. Now you can go ahead and search or you can type that direct URL in. But the reason I'm going with 4.5.0 is because this is the first version that supports vSphere 8. So let's see here, OVF tool zip archive for Linux 64 bit. So this is the file that I want to download. So I would go ahead and click there, but I've already downloaded it. So let me go ahead and open up my terminal. Now we can see here that I have it in my download folder here, VMware OVF tool 450 lin.x86 underscore 64.zip. So first thing we'll need to do is unzip that. There we go. It looks like it put everything in the OVF tool folder. So let's do a LS and make sure that we've got that here. So we've got OVF tool. And let's take a look inside that folder. Okay, so it looks like it's just all the files, including the binaries. We can see OVF tool and OVF tool bin. Looks like they are green. That usually indicates that they are executable. So let's take a look here. OVF tool, yes, so read, execute. All right, so in order for me to be able to simply type OVF tool, the folder that holds the binary needs to be in my path. Currently, this files folder that I'm currently sitting in is not in the path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the OVF tool folder to my home directory inside the bin folder. So if we take a look in home bin, we can see I've got my OVF tool folder there. Next, I want to make sure that home bin OVF tool is actually part of my path. So I'm going to edit my bash RC file that's in my home directory. And right down here, right before I export the path, I want to insert a new line and add that new path. So we'll do path equals double quotes, and we'll do home bin OVF tool colon dollar sign path so that it picks up the previous path entry there. All right, and then we export it, so that should be good. I will do a colon X to write and save the file altogether. Now, I could either close out my terminal, I could reboot, or I could simply source that file. Well, first of all, let's try executing the command. OVF tool, no such file or directory. That's fine, we haven't uh, updated our path yet. So let's go ahead and source the bash RC file. Let me do it down here as well. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and clear this up and now we'll type OVF tool. Okay, so it is found in the path, but we can see here that on Fedora 37, I appear to be missing an extra library file, this libnsl. So let's see if we can find that. Let's do a sudo dnf search libnsl. And let's see, okay, so we do have a package directly named with libnsl, so let's go ahead and install that. And I'll just do install-y. Okay, so that'll just take a moment. All right, let's try typing that OVF tool again. 
Okay, great. So now it's prompting us with help because I didn't provide the appropriate um, source target or any parameters. So this is good. Okay, now that we have the tool installed, we'll go ahead and take a look at this directory here. I have a Photon 4 VM that I had exported with all the extra config information. And I would like to import that right here into the management cluster right in the root there. I don't want to put it in any resource pools. So in order to do that, we need to run OVF tool and we need to specify the name of the VM that we want to have once it's been imported. So we'll just call it Photon4. And let's make sure that we skip any kind of SSL verification. So we'll do a no SSL verify. We need to tell OVF tool what data store to place it on. So we're going to do data store equals QNAP NFS. And next we want to specify the source file. So that is the current working directory photon4.ovf. Next we want to specify the destination. So the destination, since we're working with vCenter and in virtual infrastructure, we're going to do vi colon forward slash forward slash. Then we need to put in the username that we're going to use to authenticate to vCenter, which in my case is VC admin. Now I could put colon and my password right here, but I'm not going to do that since I'm recording. Instead, I'm just going to say VC admin at my vCenter address, which is vCenter.lab.asbill.dev. Next, we need to do the path to where we want the destination VM to reside. So that's going to be the IAD data center. Then we're going to use the host. This is a cluster folder. Now we want to specify what cluster we want the VM to land in, which is MGMT. Finally, we're going to say resources because this is a hidden resource pool that the VM is going to reside in once it's been imported. Now, if I wanted to put it into pod or misc or management or workloads, I probably could just put a forward slash and one of those particular resource pools, but I'm going to just drop it right here in the root of management. So it should show up right here. Now let's go ahead and press enter. And when I did the export, I did put in all the extra configs. So some of these might not be interpreted as being valid for doing the import. So we should be able to safely ignore these. Now, since I did not specify my password for vCenter, once this is done validating the OVF that's to be imported, it should prompt me for my credentials. I already supplied it VC admin as the username, so I should only have to enter the password. There we go. Let's go ahead and put in the password. Now that may take a minute to validate and gather up all the necessary information. And it should go ahead and get itself authenticated to Virtual Center and begin the necessary import and deploy process of the OVF to a virtual machine. There we go. So it looks like I got all the parameters correct. Otherwise, it would have gone ahead and placed an error at this point. But instead of an error, it does say that it's opening the VI target. It's deploying to VI. And if we look over here, we now have this Photon 4 VM that has shown up. And depending on the size of the VM or the VApp that you're deploying into vCenter or Cloud Director, it could take quite a while. Now, I specifically chose this Photon 4 VM because it is pretty small. So this should only take um, a few minutes. I'll go ahead and just fast forward the video at this point. Okay, transfer completed, looks successful. Let's go ahead and click on the VM in Virtual Center. T 
two CPUs, two gig. Okay. It's connected to network. All right, well, let's see if this thing powers on. Oh, there we go. All right, so looking good here. So in today's video, I have shown how to install OVF tool in Fedora Workstation 37. I showed how to install the necessary lib NSL that was required in order for OVF tool to even work. And I provide an example of importing an OVF into Virtual Center. All right, that concludes today's video. If you found it helpful, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and if you wanna get notified of my upcoming videos, go ahead and hit that little bell icon. All right, thank you very much. Have a great week.